Eyewitness News bringing you continuing coverage of this historic flooding. I'm Mike Montecalvo, live outside the Warwick Mall, just one of many areas still dealing with dangerous floodwaters. And tonight, we wanted to find out just how harmful that standing water can be to your health. Our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Susan Hogan. And Mike, you were actually standing near one of the areas where we tested the water. We decided to do this after watching so many people walking in it, touching it, and even at points, swimming in it. As you watch water being pumped out of homes and businesses onto streets, people walking through the water, tracking it everywhere, even back into their homes, it does make you wonder just what are they walking in? Oil from cars? Sewage? This is contaminated water. Let's start there. I it's mean, such I, a concern, I, Governor Don Carcieri addressed this very problem at a news conference today. I was up in the air. You can see the slick in this water. So you can, we can all imagine what's going into that water. Eyewitness News didn't just want to imagine. We want to know just what is in the standing water. We went to Bell Labs in Cranston and got three sterile containers. First stop, the Warwick Mall. So here at the Warwick Mall, there have been so many onlookers walking through this water. So what exactly are they walking in? We're going to find out. Now we're in the area of Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. Lots of businesses and homes underwater here. So let's test the water and see what we find here. Last stop, a neighborhood underwater on Fortson Street in Cranston. Ugh. We dropped off our three water samples at the lab where they will be tested for bacteria while we wait on the results a warning water, from so our governor. So people should be very careful. Stay out of it if you can. If it's in your basement, make sure you're taking all the precautions so that you're not, you know, minimize your contact with it. I did wash my hands very well after touching that water. Now, the lab is testing the water for all kinds of bacteria, including fecal coliform bacteria, which does come from sewage. Now, the results will be in tomorrow. We will give them to you starting live on Eyewitness News at 5 on Friday. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.